Hi there folks, my name's Peter Ward and I'm the Chief Technical Architect for Wardy IT Solutions. Wardy IT Solutions is Australia's leading SQL Server consultants, trainers and business intelligence specialists. In today's screencast we're going to have a look at how we can go and use the new PowerPivot add-in for Excel in order to go and connect to data that's being stored in existing Excel pivot table. So what I'm going to do is get started. So I'm going to select my existing workbook that I've got called Sales. In this Sales workbook, what you'll notice is that I've got an existing pivot table. This pivot table's got a list of states, so ACT through to Queensland. And then what we've got is we've got the sales for each of these states. Now in this particular scenario, we don't want to pull across that fourth row that we have here, our grand total. In order to remove the grand total from our pivot table, we simply right click, go to pivot table options, select table uh, totals and filters and uncheck the option show grand totals for columns. So uncheck that, select OK. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to save my sales workbook and close that. What you'll notice here is that I've got an existing Excel workbook. In this workbook here you'll see that I've got my Power Pivot tab. Now if you don't have that Power Pivot tab inside of Excel 2010, you simply need to go and install the free add-in for Excel. In order to get the Power Pivot add-in for Excel, simply go to www.powerpivot.com. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to launch the Power Pivot window. Once I've launched the Power Pivot window, I then need to bring in the data that I have inside of my existing Excel pivot table. So what I'm going to do is select from other sources. You'll notice I've got a number of different sources I can import from. In this case though, we're going to import from an Excel file in order to get the information out of my pivot table. So I'm going to select next. What I'm going to do is I'm then going to browse inside of my screencast directory because that's where my sales workbook is. I select my sales workbook. I check the option used first row as column headers. I click next. What you'll see is I have a list of all of the worksheets that are inside of that workbook. In this case, the worksheet in question is my, power, is my pivot table op one. I then click finish. Once I've clicked finish, I click close. And you'll see that I've imported those three records inside of my Power Pivot design time surface. So what we've shown in this screencast is how we can take information that's inside an existing Excel pivot table and bring that information inside of our Power Pivot design time surface. So that brings us to the end of this screencast. So for more interesting screencasts on Microsoft SQL Server, make sure you check out youtube.com slash wardyit. That's W-A-R-D-Y-I-T.